One, two, three, action. <laughs> We're here at Austin City Limits with Patrick Watson. How are you going? Very, 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 very good. Thank you. You just came off the stage. It was very hot out there, but sounded great. How'd it go for you? I <laughs> actually went a lot better than I thought it was going to be. You know, 1.15 in the morning is kind of like morning show. <laughs> so we started with the margarita. We're like, we don't know what the hell is going to happen, but we know a margarita would probably be a good start. So that's how we started our game. It went pretty good. It's been quite a while since you've been in Australia. Since you've been, you've just released a new album yeah. back in April, I say just. But you haven't really stopped since then. How has the year gone? Oh, <laughs> we've played a bunch of shows, caused some trouble. People like it. I don't know, not fired yet. So, so far, so good. And uh, we tried to make it back to Australia like two years ago, but I wanted to record the record so we couldn't go. So I'm, I'm sure we'll make our way, you know. If it's not this January, it's the next January. Well, we certainly hope you get down there eventually. Eventually. Well, you know, got to make people thirsty. It's That's right. It's hard to get, you know. <laughs> it's good times. What's the, what's the plans for the rest of the year? Oh, touring, touring, touring. And then once you get to January, I'm, I'm doing working on film scores and shit. So we'll, and the orchestra shows. We're doing a orchestra show in Holland and in Montreal. So. You've done that. You've done a lot of that sort of stuff over the years, haven't you? I fucking love that stuff. Mm. I, I kind of like, we don't really belong in the music business. We kind of do some in... It doesn't really fit anywhere, so we might as well just do really crazy shit and stick with that because it's kind of what we do best. Can you talk a little bit about the Adventure series? Well, I just, I'm not very good at tweeting or anything like that, so I thought it'd be do make. You, do you tweet? No, I don't. I, I get people to tweet. <laughs> hey, sorry. I decided to make a documentary series. If we travel in small, weird towns, we'd find kind of crazy old people and ask them questions about life. And they seem to have a lot more to say than what I'd have to say, so mm. they kind of tell me it's crazy adventures, and I thought we'd share that with the people more than me being able to do the other social media, so uh, that's the best I could do. Sorry guys, I didn't like firecrackers in my underwear or nothing like that, but you know, <laughs> I'm just doing the best I can. At what point in the process for the record did the videos come about? Because with the concepts of the record and, and the themes behind it, that seemed to flow through quite naturally to those conversations that you were having. I would have done it earlier, it's just, it's funny, it's a funny music business, you know, you, really, you record songs and it takes like six months to release it and you have all this crap you have to do after you record the songs, you're like, Make T-shirts, website, blah, 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 blah. And then by the time you get, to, yeah, then you got tweet and make Facebook page. There's all this <laughs> fucking crap to do. So by the time we reached the record, it was like six months later. Then you have videos, so you just do your best to get all this stuff you have to get done when you do an album now. That What is the process with you in terms of from when you write a song to what you hear on stage? I mean, what is that process? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not being sincere. I, I think you just write a song, you... You hear things in your head and you feel things. I mean, it's very it's difficult to put words to it. You know, you just try to make something feel good. You know, you try to give yourself goosebumps and you try to make the song like no other song. And that's the best you can do. And after that, you know, it's not it's out of your hands. Uh, for those of us who saw you at Sydney Festival, you know, we know that you, you know, can put your hand to quite a few instruments and, and you like to play around with things on the stage. What was the first instrument you, you played, though? Oh, I sang in a choir when I was like seven years old, and then I played piano, and then I studied composition, classical and jazz, and all sorts of different shit like that. And I mean, all the guys in the band are, are, like to research different instruments and different sounds, and I think everybody in the band is, we just want to put on something you've never seen before, in a way, but still it's touching and not, you know, not too hokey pokey either, you know? Every album we have like a good like 25 ideas that we didn't use, you know? And, I think we look for ideas that all four of us get goosebumps about and all four of us have something to say on. So it's not even whether the idea is better or not. It's just the ideas that become life and become alive. So that's just something you can't control. Well, thank you so much for taking the time that's to talk pleasure. to us today. And we hope we see you back in Australia sometime soon. Maybe one day. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe.